Our approach is not about scientific study or boots on the ground, both of which are important, but it's about addressing public perception and the economic forces behind the illegal wildlife trade. While everyone else was focusing on the supply side, we dared to ask, what if you can reduce the demand for these products? This goes straight to the root of the problem. This is a pangolin. This endangered animal is largely overlooked, but in fact, is the most trafficked mammal in the world. So we looked at how businesses the world over stimulate demand, and we adapted the same techniques to reduce demand for wildlife products. Just as companies use high-profile spokespeople to promote their products, we have more than 300 global and local icons as ambassadors around the world, including China, Vietnam, and the United States. Some people call this a souvenir. We use all the standard advertising techniques. Send me a selfie instead. From award-winning 30-second messages, master the panda kung fu move of saying, no way, to full-length documentaries, to massive billboard and social media campaigns. Because we have high quality materials, major star power behind us, and we're not asking people for money in our messages, we've been able to leverage more than $1 billion of donated media space, mostly in China, over $200 million a year. Campaigns take time. You can't just say we're going to do a six-month campaign. You have to keep going until you achieve the change that you need. Our campaign has been one of the longest running and most viewed campaigns ever. When the buying stops. Reaching hundreds of millions of people worldwide over the past two decades. The killing can too. But we're seeing some remarkable progress. Shark fin imports to China are down 80%. The Galapagos, where officials weren't seizing up to 10,000 shark fins at a time, is now home to the densest shark population in the world. Ivory and rhino horn prices have been reduced by two-thirds. Rhino poaching is slowing down in South Africa, but not fast enough. Elephant poaching has started to decline, coming down dramatically in East Africa. However, our work is far from over. Her name is Boromoko, but I call her the Million Dollar Baby, because over her lifetime, that is how much tourism revenue she can bring to Kenya. As we continue working on eliminating demand, we're now using the same model to get much broader public and political support for conservation in Africa, the last stamp of so much of the world's iconic wildlife. So let's all sing the same song. Stand up for our wildlife. And we're ambassadors of Wild, wild Aid. Africans are speaking out and showing their support for protecting their wildlife and their national parks. So we're leveraging media space on a massive scale and are currently the only conservation charity to have a 100% four-star rating with Watchdog Charity Navigator. We need your help more than ever. Join us in fighting to protect our incredible wildlife. Because poaching steals from us all. To learn more, visit wildaid.org.